Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to take a look at how to make hollow objects in 3D Builder. There are two ways of doing this. There is a built-in hollow tool. However, I don't like the results when you use that tool with curved surfaces. I find that the result tends to have very rough edges, very rough surfaces. So we'll take a look at that method and then we'll look at an alternate method and then you can decide for yourself which result you prefer. So let's start on the insert tab and we'll just use a sphere because like I said, it really is noticeable with curved surfaces. And then what we'll do is there's actually a tool called hollow. So we'll go to edit, we'll click on hollow and what you'll see is this brighter orb in the middle this is what's being removed. The dimmer, fainter, more translucent outside is what's being kept. Really doesn't matter what setting you choose for this. The minimal wall thickness is the only setting we have. You can, that's a little bit too much if we go here. You can have a much thicker outside, but you can see a separate problem with this and that the inside really isn't an orb. It's already taken on this kind of gem look. So that's a separate issue, but it's still worth calling out. But if you're doing something like this where you're keeping a thin edge, it still looks relatively like a sphere. Okay, so we're just going to click on hollow. And obviously it's not going to look any different yet because it's the inside that was removed. So now we need to slice this open and take a look on the inside. So on the edit tab, we're going to click on split. We're just going to rotate this plane so it's easier to see. And sorry if this is kind of moving, jumping around a bit. And then you have a few choices. I have this to keep bottom because in this case, what you see there is the bottom. And we click on split and you should be able to see all these rough edges, how the whole surface, it's really kind of chopped up. And if you're using a voxel environment, you might like this. So you may decide that this is the aesthetic that you want for your game, so so be it. But if you're looking for a cleaner surface, you may not want this. So I just wanted to call that out. Now what we're going to do, let's just slide this over. And we'll do this again with the second method, and you'll see how much cleaner it is. So again, we'll go to Insert. To make this as much apples to apples as possible, we're going to click on Sphere again. So this should be identical to this. And then want to click on Sphere again one more time. Because in this method, what we do is we use a duplicate of the object, shrink it, and then we use the Subtract tool to remove that smaller object from the large object. Because what the Subtract tool does is it deletes the object that is selected and any portion of any objects that are overlapping that object. I have a separate tutorial about the Subtract tool if you want to watch that. And so we just go to edit and there's the subtract tool here, but I'm not going to do it yet because we need to shrink this first. So we go to the scale tool, shrink this in, and then just make sure it's centered. So X and Y. So X is horizontal. I believe Y is depth. Yeah. Okay. So undo that control Z. So make sure it's centered, centered. Now this one is going to be harder to know if it's centered. But when you're moving it, it should snap into place. So right there, it snaps. Right there, it snaps. So you're gonna, it, it's gonna take a little trial and error. Also, if you are uh, paying attention to the size, you can also figure out what the center should be. So do know that that it takes a little bit more effort to center it where the hollow tool inherently centers it. Okay, and now we just do subtract. And again, it's not going to look any different because it's the inside that was altered. And then we just click on split, which is also on the edit tab. And again, we're going to rotate this just so we can get a clearer look at the center. And then you have several choices. In this case, we're keeping bottom. And click on split. And you can see, even before I zoomed in, do that much much cleaner I mean there's no comparison you can see rough edges here smoother here now I don't know for certain but I suspect that possibly this smoother surface may be more system intensive because it probably has more facings 
So these abrupt edges probably take up less processing power. Depends on how big of a game you're using, so that might not make a difference. But if you multiply this by thousands and thousands of objects on the screen, you may indeed have a, a, a serious issue with resources. And again, that's if you're using this for gaming. This is actually, this application is really designed for 3D modeling, so that might not be a consideration. It all depends what you're using this for. But you can see the hollow method is really rough and the, um, the subtraction method is much, much cleaner. So I just wanted to mention that and, and so you could see the two different ways of doing this. Now, if you take something, let's delete both of these. If you were to do, say, a cube and then edit and then hollow and then hollow and then split and let's rotate that and split you can see in this case it's fine it's nice and clean everything looks good so again the issue is with curved surfaces so we'll do one more we'll do inserts, we'll do cylinder, we'll do edit, we'll do hollow, we'll click on hollow, we'll click on split. Again, we rotate this. You can already see the noise, the messiness. So again, it all depends what you're looking for. Uh, if you're making models, if you're actually using this for 3D printing, I suspect you wouldn't want this, that this would make the model really, really hideous. I've never actually used this for 3D printing, so I don't know what the end result is for certain, but if this is representative of the end product, then I think you would have an issue with all these rough edges on whatever model it is that you're making. So that's about all I wanted to say is uh, I want to give you guys this alternative that rather than using the hollow tool, that if you're using a uh, uh, if you're using curved surfaces, you probably should just use subtract as well. So again, we'll just move this over, insert cylinder, cylinder again, shrink it down center it like i said it kind of pops into place edit subtract edit split rotate split much much cleaner so this one you can kind of see a little bit of roughness I mean, we're like really on top of it at that point. Even still, just looking at this, you can see the huge difference. Okay, so that's really all I wanted to show you was to give you this alternative to when, you, when having curved surfaces, how to make a hollow object and have it be cleaner. Okay, so I hope you found this useful and please have a good day and enjoy the rest of your day.